these cheap phones are just insanity. Check this out. For 50 dollars, you get an actual functioning device. It has a screen, it has cameras. More on that later. You get a case for it, you get a charger and a cable. You get a box. I mean, can it be that bad? To be fair, if you're watching this, you're probably not the type to consider one of these for yourself. But maybe for a kid or an elderly relative that doesn't use a smartphone all that much. After all, we all know cheap phones are getting better, but how cheap can you go before you go, yeah, mate, that was a bad idea. Okay, we browse through Amazon to find the cheapest smartphone we can. This is the KXD Classic Core 6A. Comes with 12 months of warranty, I'll have you know, thank you. And yeah, obviously to get it down to this price, some corners had to be cut and some labor laws had to be broken. Legal team says that was a joke, by the way. As I turn it on, I gotta say the screen isn't horrible. Obviously the resolution isn't great, but for a $50 phone, the colors are kind of nice. <laughs> but when I tried to use it in the evening, the screen absolutely burned my retinas off. See, one of the corners that were cut was that this does not have an ambient sensor for auto brightness. So if you have it too high, you wake up at night, you look at your phone and ah, it's pain. Or you have it too low, you go out on a sunny day, you look at the phone and you can't see anything. Of course, there are these people who set their brightness to 100% and never touch it, but we will not speak about those people because they are lunatics. It does come with an island screen protector pre-installed and there's a hard glass screen protector in the box, which is nice, it's all added value. Though if you look closely, you can see that there's a speck of dust stuck under the factory installed screen protector. So there's a lot of dust in the sweatshops. Legal says, that's another joke. Okay, enough semantics, how does it work? It comes with Android 8 out of the box. Friendly reminder, we are now up to Android 13. And the latest security update on this thing is from 2019. The last time this had a security update, I had a full head of hair. <laughs> and it is absolutely slow. Yeah, I know, we're exploring this device from the perspective that maybe it's for a child or an elderly person. But nothing is more frustrating than tapping on an object on the screen and not having it respond. And then you tap again and you tap again and you tap again and you tap again and finally it loads and you're five screens deep into what you wanted to do in the first place. Sometimes I may be trying to scroll through a menu, but the phone is so slow to respond that it registers the scroll as a tap and sends me somewhere. But sure, for the giggles of it, let's try to install a game. We have less than four gigabytes of storage to work with and some apps will downright refuse to install on this. For example, I can't install Slack on it. Not like I'm gonna log in with my professional details on a phone with a security patch from 2019, but Call of Duty is also out of the question. I got this Candy Crush-like game and Brawl Stars, which I hear is popular with the youngsters. Now, this is, without editing, how long it takes me to launch a simple game. Gameplay is okay, it takes like an eon for levels to load. By the time your kid reaches level 10, it's gonna be a teenager demanding a new iPhone. You just don't get it, dad. We do. I'm not a dad. Never mind. <laughs> but hey, let's go wilder. Let's run a 3D Mark benchmark on this and hope that it does not blow up in my face. Two thousand years later. Yeah, you know what? That was the most amazing slideshow ever, but I couldn't bring myself to sit through the whole of it. Now, you might be wondering, why did we spend our hard-earned money on this phone? So I could make this segue, of course. If you own a business, you know that one of your biggest hurdles is communication. How do customers reach you? How does your internal team communicate? Do you use different systems? How do you support them? How do you pay for each one, it's one major headache. But today's sponsor, 3CX, takes all of those troubles away and gives you one comprehensive system to handle all of your communication needs. If you're a small business, for free. That's right, the 3CX startup package is free for life and supports up to 10 users, so small companies can get set up instantly. So what is it? It's a cloud-based private telephone network which allows you to chat with your customers or make phone or video calls. In the same system, you can hold video conferences and voice calls with your own teams and it's super accessible. You can either use the iOS or Android apps or log in through a web client with any machine with access to the internet. It takes minutes to set up and deploy, you can do it yourself, no need for a tech, 
and you can easily manage the system through the web client. 3CX will be taking care of the system management and updates in the background without bothering you with any of it. 3CX is flexible and scales with your business and your needs. It's super easy to upgrade your plan once your team grows, but for the time being, enjoy it for free and focus on making your customers happy. Okay, how are the KXD 6A cameras? Now, obviously, this is not for someone who considers themselves a photography pro, but you know, maybe someone who makes video calls or takes selfies from time to time. Now, before I go on, by the way, um, there's one more obscure corner that was cut with this device. This phone has no oleophobic coating, not on the phone screen, not on the screen protectors, not even on the camera glass. You know how when you smudge your nice expensive phone with some fingerprint grease, you just wipe it with a dry cloth and it's perfectly fine? Yeah, that's because it has oleophobic coating. This phone here, it feels like you're touching the glass on your windows at home. Any fingerprint you leave on it stays on it. Needless to say, it gets grimy. And on the camera lenses too, you, you have to imagine that's not ideal. Though, we would say also not a huge loss. We have an 8 megapixel main camera, a secondary 2 megapixel camera, which does something, and a 5 megapixel selfie camera. Yeah, okay, I hear you, I hear you. Let's try a video call. Hey, Victor, how's it going? How do you see my face? How do you hear my beautiful voice? Who is this? Stop calling me. Come on, man. Hm, I think he liked it. Okay, shall we round this off with a speaker test? Let's do it. Now, kudos for the speaker, it is loud, and the included ringtones and notification sounds do come out clearly. But trying to enjoy a YouTube clip on this phone, now that's a no-go. Okay, am I being too harsh? Some people just want a cheap phone. I get it, I do, absolutely. But what I'm saying is you probably have to spend a little bit more and get a device that actually eons better than this one. Just with a quick glimpse of Amazon, we have a refurbished Galaxy S10e for $130, we have a refurbished Pixel 4 for $120. The Pixel 4 is a great phone, I got my mama Pixel 4 in 2022, it's still amazing. This? D don't spend your money on this. Now, if you're looking for a 2023 mid-ranger that's actually no joke, check out our review of the Galaxy A54 here. And if you're wondering if the iPhone 14 Pro is worth all of the hype and money, here is our long-term review that Victor did after seven months with it. I've been Press, this is the Phone Arena channel, and you're awesome for hitting the like button. See you next time. Bye!